This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is theory, SAP theory. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is theory. What is theory? What are the key features of SAP theory? Okay, we'll understand why the theory is introduced. Issues with the traditional user interface, issues with the normal traditional GUI, which we are using all the time. We'll understand that. Then the difference between user interface and user experience. Okay, role based theory user experience. We'll see that. How the simplified user experience. Okay, then the, we'll discuss about Fiori Launchpad. How to log into Fiori. Okay, then different app types. What are the different app types available in Fiori? And finally, how to use the Fiori apps. We will execute one transaction using Fiori apps. Okay, so first we'll start with the introduction to SAP Fiori. So basically, what is Fiori? Fiori is a collection of apps with a simple and easy to use experience for broadly and frequently used SAP software functions that work seamlessly across devices. Either it can be a desktop, tablet, or smartphone. Okay. So basically, this theory is nothing but a another method of another way of accessing the SAP system. Okay. So previously, uh, normally we are accessing the SAP system through traditional GUI. Okay. So apart from this, this is another method of accessing SAP. This is browser based basically. Okay. So normally, previously, whatever we have seen. We were accessing the SAP through this log on pad. We are double clicking on this log on pad. And then we are connecting to our server. We are log, we are connecting to our server. And then we are entering our user ID and password. This is the normal traditional way of logging into SAP. Other than this, in S4 HANA, they have come up with this theory. It's basically a browser based. Okay. So this is the these are the key features of Fiori. Okay, so it is a new browser-based user interface. Okay, it, you can log into this Fiori using uh, any browser like Internet Explorer, Chrome, uh, Firefox, or any any other one. Okay, instead of logging into your regular ERP system via GUI, you will be using the Fiori. So instead of traditional GUI, you can use this Fiori. Okay, so it is announced in 2013 and ultimately it is released in 2014. So Fiori is available from 2014 onwards. Okay, and you don't need to be on S4 HANA. So it's not that ERP on ERP also you have some uh, apps, Fiori apps, but those works only if you have the database, HANA database. Okay. Now it is free license for SAP customers. Okay, so whenever a company or a organization implements S4 HANA, they will get this theory as a free. Okay, it supposed, support, supports HTML5 and can be used on any device. So this theory can be accessed from any device. Okay, it can be you can access it from your laptop or computer or tab or or from mobile phone also smartphone also okay look okay. it supports multiple operating system like windows ios and android okay it it, it uh, supports uh, multiple oss okay and multi language support okay it, it supports multi languages and ever increasing number of apps so they are keep on adding the new apps basically okay so this is the theory Okay, so the why they why they have come up with this theory is in the traditional GUI, we are using transactions. Transactions. Now here in the GU in the theory, we will be using apps. Apps. And these apps are also called as tiles. These are called as tiles. Whether you call tiles or apps, both are same. Okay. So why they have come up with this theory is the, the thing is. 
this traditional GUI, this GUI, you can access only from a laptop or a computer. Okay, you cannot access through this through mobile phone. Okay, so or through a tab. So that's the reason they came up with the theory. And another one is nowadays uh, uh, people are uh, doing any activity through smartphones in this era. Nowadays, let's say I want to order some food. So people just pick up a smartphone. They will just order food. So nowadays, if you want to book a train ticket or if you want to book a flight ticket, okay, people are doing everything through a smartphone. Okay, so that's the reason there is a, a demand uh, uh, from the users to access SAP via smartphone or tab. That's the reason they come up with this browser based access, browser based user interface. Okay. So basically, here in the traditional GUI, as I just explained, we will be using transactions and here we will be using the apps. In the theory, you will be using the apps. And as I explained previously, this theory can be accessed from any device mobile phone, smartphone tabs laptops or computers from any device okay so this is the one we just discussed okay the sample theory screens looks like this looks like this and it is a browser based it is a browser based application and mobile friendly okay you can access it from a smartphone and it is very easy to navigate this i will show it in the system Okay, when compared with GUI, it is somewhat easy to navigate. Okay, this I will show you to the system when we go to the theory. Okay, so now uh, these are the theory principles. Okay, theory design principles role based, it is responsive, it is very simple to use. Okay, and coherent. Okay, and instant value. Okay. I'll explain you all these things one by one when we go to the when we log into the theory theory as of now it responsive means it can be accessed from any devices any device and according to the device it will adjust its uh, features basically okay I'll, i will show you this in the system all these features once we log into the system i will show you one by one okay so this is the features design principles of the theory okay uh, so first one is the it's a role based so basically theory what happens is uh, it's a role based so normally uh, in the traditional gui when you log into sap it is like it's basically like a function based functional based okay so when you when you log into theory you will get all the transactions okay suppose if i log into uh, GUI. Suppose let's say I log in with my user ID. Okay, so when I, when we log in here, you will get all the transactions here. Okay, so now we have to search for our transaction. Okay, and when you go to the transaction, then only you will come to know whether you have access to authorization to the transaction or not. When you go to the transaction, then only you will be able to find. So here it is very uh, complex. You don't know to which transaction you have authorizations. So you because everything is available on in on the screen, all transactions will come. But whereas in case of theory, whereas in case of theory, only according to your role you will get the apps, decomposed apps for each role, exposing only relevant data and function. So here, according to your role, you will get only the relevant apps. So basically the theory is rule based 